Hello, today I am sharing some cards that I will be making with all of my die cuts and background pieces that I shared in my last video that I had all sorted through. So what I decided to do was group all of these backgrounds and these little die cut and punch shapes to th into theme packs. And I'm using the pockets that I use my stamps and my dies um, in. They're the CD uh, plastic pockets that I got from Amazon. So I'm sorting through all of these backgrounds and pretty much putting them in like florals. I got a bunch of foiled backgrounds. I got a lot of um, fall themed um, stamps and stuff I've colored um, and uh, one Christmas stack. So I'm just going through and deciding what will go where. So it'll be a little easier when I go to make cards that I'll have like all that stuff together so I can go make something with a floral or the fall theme so that's what uh, I'm doing here and there was a couple card bases actually that I found so uh, again there's some Christmas backgrounds and there's another card that I found that I never finished there's some more die cuts I will uh, put those in their own separate little pouch so once these were all sorted background wise i went through um all those bags um of my punch shapes and such and sorted through all those so gathering up um all the christmas themed items um, anything that coordinates with the florals anything that um has the, like the fall colors in it I'm going to put those on top of those um, stacks of my backgrounds and stamped embossed items. And then I'm going to um, put them in their own bags. So I think that makes it a lot easier. I'm going to leave them out. I'm going to start making um, some cards with them in this video. So if you have things like this that you keep um I just thought that was a good way a better way for me to start using these instead of just being all mixed up together so I did leave um a couple of those little cellophane bags full of just some random punch shapes but for the majority of the part there they are themed together so that works for me so I'm gonna start making uh, some cards and decided to go with uh, some of these floral uh, this was actually a stamp it's a unity rubber stamp and I think I embossed originally I clear embossed that and then put um, deco foil over it, I think. I don't re exactly remember, but they are foiled. So I just grabbed a couple embossed pieces that match those, and I'm just trimming them down to make um, a border around those floral images. So you see some of that embossed uh, backgrounds. I think those are both a 3D um, embossing folder, so they have a lot of texture um, on them. So I'm using the uh, We Are Memory Keepers stamp press here, and I'm using that Unity stamp uh, set there I haven't used yet. So I picked out some sentiments from that set. And I'm just getting into the bag that I keep my white and my 
off-white cream colored cardstock in and going to stamp a bunch of those sentiments all at the same time I'm not real sure which ones that um, I'm going to use on these but just pick some out and decided on a um, dark purple color so I just you put the lid there on the stamp press turn it over and then you um, can ink up your stamps you can either put the the lid back onto the press or you can set it off to the side so you just line up if you don't haven't used one of these you just line up your press with the holes um, on the base and you just stamp it and if you want to ink it up again get a darker image you can do that so this is another uh, stamp positioner that I have I have I think four different ones um, I use most all of them depending on what um, stamp that I'm going to use this does have a little foam insert that you can uh, pull on and off. So if you have clear stamps, you put the foam insert back into it. So I've got all my uh, sentiments done there. And now I'm still deciding on which, which way I want to do it. Do I want to border all around it? If not, I trim that one down. Just whatever... I felt I really didn't have a plan for any of these I just I grabbed stuff put it together um, cards like these I don't take a whole lot of time to plan out um, a little bit better that way for me to use all these things so I'm not sure if I'm gonna donate all these cards I have lots more in my stash uh, there are a couple different uh, organizations that you can send your cards to donate them so I probably will do that and then I also need to start actually mailing some of these out to family and friends because I haven't done that for a long time so there I'm just attaching um, that floral, foiled floral image there to that. That was a wood grain um, embossed piece that I had made. And I just cutting that uh, sentiment into a long strip. And just deciding how long I want to make that. So I think I made it almost the width of the card, maybe like four inches or something like that four and a quarter is the standard that is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card bases that I'm uh, made there for all these cards and I did use some foam tape um, I did cut that strip in in half because it's pretty wide I do have some other um, foam squares and such but that was handy right there so that's what I used and I'm again just deciding does it need anything else and I no nah, that's good so I just left that one the way it was um, that has enough I think um, shine and sparkle to it of that image it doesn't really need anything at all so for that um, embossed panel there it, it's a, again a 3d folder so I thought I'd just put some foam tape um, on that and attach it to the card um, base this one I'm just gluing on top and I put a lot of glue on that panel because it's pretty um, bumpy that background so I wanted to get as much of that panel attached to it that I possibly could so it would make it stay there. And for this sentiment, I'm looking at my punches, uh, deciding on if I want to punch that out or just make a strip. 
So I did grab this paper punch there and it did fit pretty good on that sentiment. So I just punched that out. And again, deciding if I want to add something else. I have all those frames there that I don't even know why I cut them out. I must have made something with them, but I have quite a few. So I'm just fiddling with it again. Do I want to put those on? And I decided just to uh, glue this one flat right to the front of the card doesn't need anything else because again it's got so much shine from that foil so that's two cards made so these are again all the backgrounds stamped they're embossed um, this one is a hero arts background stamp uh, it does have a little bit of embossing on it so um, I think I remember trying to use the oxide inks with clear embossing and it just wasn't uh, it embossed it some heat embossed but it it wasn't doing a very good job so that's why I just kind of threw it off to the side um, but it was still stamped well so I kept it so here I'm using some of those frames and just randomly making Kind of a geometric design with them there and i got some extra glue on that frame so i'm just taking that little adhesive remover tool and i decided to use a different stamp set from unity this one is a gina k um, design stamp set and i just took a sentiment out of that set um, and had that label there that I wanted to stamp the sentiment on. So again, I got my stamping tool out and using magnets there to hold it down. And the thing with the rubber stamps, I mean, you can't see through them. So if I used my acrylic block, I really couldn't tell how straight I was getting that stamped on there. So with the grids on the lid of that stamp tool, you can um, make sure that you get it in a straight line. That way when you go to stamp it, especially on this piece since it's already punched out, you can uh, make sure you get it stamped straight. So that's another good thing about having a, a stamping tool um, with the rubber stamps. Makes it a little bit easier to get your image there. So I take the label and not sure if I want to add a frame around it. It needs something else, I thought. So I got the pink, uh, that's oxide ink there. Uh, Kitsch Flamingo, I believe, is the ink color. And just uh, used my little foam applicator tool and made some color around that that made that show up a little bit better on that background that background stamps really cute it's got a bunch of a crafty um, it's a rubber stamp hero arts rubber stamp it's got a lot of cute little images on that for your crafty friends and that sentiment matches that image I think pretty well and pop that up on some foam and done with that panel and then I decided to put that on that's um I believe the color is cool Caribbean cardstock that blue color of all those frames I uh, decided to make a card base with that same cardstock so making my own there just score it and then cut it that way you have two panels done at the same time. And just adhering that down with glue. No dimension on this one. And that's all that card is. 
That one's done. So moving on to another card. Going through the backgrounds. Deciding what I want to use. I did pick out this floral image. This is another smaller background stamp, rubber stamp from Hero Arts. And just deciding on what all I want to put on this one. So I dumped out a bunch of florals. And just decided to just start gluing a bunch of those images down. So I just took a bunch of these florals. Some are dies. Uh, some are punches. And some of the, these are actually scraps from my gel press um, paint. I tried to use paint on the gel press and just wasn't coming out well. So I did keep a bunch of those and punched and stamped them out, but never used them. So once I got a bunch of those images down, then I just going through more of my um, shapes and frames, deciding on what I want to use. No real pattern there. So here I am just deciding which uh, sentiment that I want to put on this one. What else I think it needs. It does need something else. So I went through that bag of um, just die cuts and picked out some florals there. Those are from uh, Simon Says Stamp. I believe that's uh, supposed to be a tulip, I think. Um, it's very thin. It's a very thin dye. So I used my uh, glue pen and stuck those down. It's kind of lumpy, so I put some weight on it so them uh, small die cuts would stick. I got a bunch of glue on my table, so I'm just wiping that off so I don't get my card base. Uh, stuck to the table. So that kind of lessens, tones down a little bit of that busy uh, background that has all those punched shapes on there. And putting the sentiment on there with some foam. Since it is kind of lumpy, I thought the foam would be best to stick that down that way you don't see all the the lumps and bumps if you would just glue it down and I had another of those that blue card base so I just thought I would use that one it was right there I don't have a bunch of card bases pre-made I usually don't do that unless every once in a while I'll uh, use I'll cut up a bunch of white ones, but not really. I don't usually keep them cut up ahead of time. So there's some cards I made, and I thought I was going to be done, but I decided to do one more, and this time I did a Christmas one. So I'm just going through some of these um, obvious Christmas backgrounds. Those are um, stamped and watercolored images and I just decided to, to use a foiled um, background so I picked out the gold one and trimming that one down uh, I believe to four inches by five and a quarter we'd have a border of that red showing through so I've got all my Christmas themed images there and don't really know what I want to put on there, so I just sort through, pick things out, um, deciding on which I'm going to use some of them ovals. There's a piece of that cart. Those are actually, that Christmas tree is actually cut out from a 12 by 12 sheet of card, of pattern paper. Fussy cut all those out. So I decided just to, to go with the sentiment first and then build the card around that. So I'm using a Your Next Stamp Christmas 
uh, stamp set there for the sentiment. And that's a Concord and Ninth ink. And I am using an acrylic block. So I made sure that the ink was very well put on there. Because we all know with an acrylic block, you get one try. And if it doesn't come out well, you can either put it on your card like that or just start over. Um, so that one did ink up very well. I was happy with that one. So stamped it on that oval. And now I'm just picking out some of these Christmas shapes and stuff. And I wanted some, some sh extra sparkle or something to it so I'm just kind of going through and wanting to use that silver but the background's gold so I didn't want silver and gold so I decided on uh, and on that little uh, Rudolph um, image from that pattern paper it's so cute so I just had started attaching the pieces that I wanted to use on this front foiled panel and using two of those ovals, the same, they're the same size, so I just decided to offset them from each other. And then use my glue pen and attach um, that cute little Rudolph deer, reindeer there. And I wanted a uh, sparkle, so instead of using any pieces that I had... Uh, I didn't have anything gold sparkle, so I went to my um, my little enamel dots um, bin there and picked out some gold. A couple different ones there I thought I would use, but I initially went with these. These are like clear, and then they have like gold uh, glitter in them, so... I picked out the three different sizes this particular pack has uh, in it and just put three of them in the triangular kind of shape pattern on my card in random spots and one Christmas card done. So it took me about an hour and a half to do all of these um, cards, which wasn't too bad considering that I had went through and sorted all of those panels and die cuts and such. So I hope you have found some inspiration to use any of your scraps or stamped image backgrounds that you found you weren't too fond of. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!